everybody it's another real-time video and I have found my hat my BS what's it called this is bananas because it is there's a lot of crazy stuff flying around here I'm Gary the vegan carburetor and this is another video about the vegetable police drum. Now there's this, 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 this three ridge guy, and I was talking about him yesterday. And why, you know, why isn't he talking about vegetable police? We're gonna get into that. Yeah. Here is this, this person's latest video. A couple days ago and it's his usual series he's interviewing ex-vegans this guy's really well spoken he's written books I wonder where he finds all these people well I guess a lot of people attempt they, they try the vegan diet they, they do it for a little while does that mean oh four six months <laughs> oh see there's there's the first debunking right there. So whatever he's doing now, that's so great. He's been doing it six months. That is not enough time. Let's see, vegans attack me for finally being healthy. Six months, not enough time. And no, that's not the reason we're attacking you. The reason I'm about to attack this guy before we get into vegetable police why he's not talking about vegetable please we're attacking I'm about to attack this guy for spreading bull crap I'm about to debunk his bull crap just like I just debunked the bull crap of this title here okay start from near the beginning here English diet in the 60s of meat and two veg, and I was pretty healthy, you know, it was, 60s. I was fine. 60s. And then I suppose the first problems happened when I was a serious hippie and used to travel around in wagons and uh, live in buses and teepees and stuff, and uh, of course all the macrobiotic thing was going on back then, probably about, I don't know, 1980 maybe, <clears throat> 79, 80. 79, 79. And, uh, yeah, so we all got into that. And I started to notice this was the first time I started to get sort of weird depressive thoughts and um, bad back and things like that. Things that okay, if you do the math, so he was probably young in the 60s. So 79, he'd probably be in his 30s, maybe even early 30s. Well, first of all, in his 20s and maybe your teens, you're just not going to get the symptoms. You're too young, you know. It's like cigarettes. You don't get the effects until you get older. And secondly, um, it's depression and all sorts of other health problems. That wouldn't have anything to do with all the drugs he was probably taking. Okay, let's get back into this. That so I've never had in my whole life before. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, when you were younger. And were born with health. And it took a while of all that drug use. And then, um, then after a little while of that, I decided, yeah, I'm going to uh, stop with all the psilocybin and all that sort of thing, and I'm going to become a yogi and go up and live where I live now, actually, the center of the whole transcendental meditation thing. And, of course, they're very vegetarian, and they've misinterpreted Ayurveda and all of that kind of thing, and say that, uh, yeah, you've got, to, uh, you, you've got to eat all this southern Indian food or whatever. Or... Southern Indian food. Would that include ghee, which is fat? You know, anyway, is it northern India? Well, they're all the rice and dal and veg and stuff like that, so they live... Not sure what the... What, he said rice, 
beds and something in the middle there. I, I think the problem was something in the middle. Got that. And I got into that. And uh, yeah, pretty soon started to have some serious joint problems. Joint problems from rice and vegetables? No, I don't think so. I think it was the ghee. Nowhere near as serious as they became. But, uh, yeah, sorry, this is fly driving me nuts. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I, I got into that. They would be seemed reasonably healthy. You know, they were in their 30s or whatever. I was in my 20s. and uh, it's, it's, Oh, there. He's, he was still in his 20s even, so he was real young. <laughs> seemed okay. It seemed like a good idea at the time. And um, then it, that carried on pretty much vegetarian until about... 1997. Pretty. When, uh, okay, see, the key there I just cut. Notice he said pretty much vegetarian. Not even pretty, pretty much vegan. So he was eating an Omni diet, which is bad for you. I took over a gym, and I started, I ran it, I ran it, you know, and um, started craving some protein. <laughs> That's bull crap. You know, maybe he was under eating. That could be. But it's hard not to get enough protein. With all the training, obviously, it added a few chicken breasts, which it doesn't really do much. You know, if it's still a high carb diet, it doesn't really do much. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is doing much? What is, what is he looking for? So I grew, you know. So, so, so is he saying carbs. Damage you or something? I got quite big, but I, I started to get all these terrible. Um... I think he, if we pinned him down, he would say it's the fiber in the grains. With, with, and grains are a carb, see? The way those two are conflated together. They do that to put down carbs. It's really not good for the listener who ends up more confused. Joint problems, you know, sacroiliacs going. My wrist was trashed. I was a, uh, I was a drummer. Well, I still am. And drummer. My wrist was really bad, really painful. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, uh, I... So the accent, I didn't understand that till now. He's a drummer, so am I. I've been playing for about forty years. Really good, just getting better and better. My old age. Just have to put it in ice buckets, you know, in between sets when I was playing. And I just wasn't twigging it. And I started to get really fat, and whatever. This went on until I'm real thin. 2010, we'll skip forward to 2010. Well, 2009, I was really fat. And I thought, ooh, I'm going to... I'd written a book in 96 on training and Ayurveda and diet and all. The reason he was fat is because he was almost a vegetarian, which means omni. All that sort of thing. The diet chapter was shite. The rest of it was okay. <laughs> so I thought, you know, I'm going to get a website. I'm going to chart my return to health, you know, with all of this yogic type exercising and uh, mountain biking and all of that sort of thing. I used to write for the mountain bike mags. And little did I realize that a year later, I'd be in a far worse state. You know, I mean, the, the exercise did nothing. The calories in, calories out thing doesn't do anything. And so a year or so later, I'd come back from a holiday in Thailand. And one see. ankle one morning just completely exploded. Okay, we're going to skip ahead here. But this guy sounds like he's got some major problems. <laughs> and it's not because of rice. Uh, all kinds of things that happen. And um, okay, right around. so I went off to the rheumatologist and he said, oh yeah, well, hopefully it's just reactive. I mean, right the fasting here. was good. It really took the symptoms away. Um, you know, I used to do all kinds of water fast, like three days, five days, 11 days, I think was the most. I didn't do any monstrous ones, but after the third day, it was heaven. Suddenly the, the symptoms would disappear. So it was, it was really obvious that the diet had something to do with it. And it was something... Yeah, I agree with all that to do with the gut, you know, so, um, anyway, but of course, the answer must be raw veganism, isn't it the most pure diet, isn't it, isn't it the most wonderful thing that's going to detox the body of all demons, yep, 
so well, it's more than that. You no, know, and, and, and it was just ridiculous. Just juiced stuff, spinach and avocados, and of course loads of bananas because you know, we can't stand the taste of the rest of it without bananas in there. And um, then um, it, it just wasn't getting any better. A couple of things kind of cleared up, so you can see how vegans have the initial results. You know, and I lost a ton of weight. You know, I lost about 75 pounds, I think, disappeared. But it was obvious that all my muscle had gone as well. Um, so then finally I discovered so, uh, a key, more keto diet. I discovered the whole Nat Natasha Campbell McBride thing, you know, and GAPS diet and stuff. And I got onto that. And, and I also discovered good old Jack, you know, good old Jack Cruz and got, got, got into his protocols and got into some cold thermogenesis and just ended up absolutely ripped. The trouble is, I'd lost all my muscle as well, so I was about nine stone in English money, which is like... Wait, 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 wait. He lost all his muscle twice. <sighs> now, if, if you lose all your muscle just once, well, what that means is you weren't eating enough. He was juicing a lot. It sounds very much like he went life regenerator. Yeah, Dan, I did a lot of videos on life regenerator. And it was, I was under eating. Systematic under eating. That's what he said. He acknowledged this. And see, all the, the juicing he does, what he says is, He was probably avoiding carrots, which I juice, so then, then you don't need to add bananas. So he's avoiding that. And so he's eating a whole bunch of vegetables that don't have calories in them. And that's where you lose your muscle. Okay. Uh, you know, 125 pounds, something like that, at 5 foot 10. Really emaciated. My whole left quad had disappeared. There's pictures yeah, right on my there. left. That guy was much thinner than I am. And did you know? Did he actually go raw vegan? He wasn't a vegan before. <laughs> and how long was he a raw vegan? That's the thing. And he got smaller than I am. I, I'm partly a raw vegan. Why didn't this happen to me? Of, of, it just looks like a piece of string and then a ball. And you now she was like two at the time or something. Right. Okay. Three. And, and Skipping here. I have come from keto and dropped the last of the fibrous veggie out. You know, I used to wonder when I was really sick that I could eat a whole bar of dark chocolate and nothing would happen but I have a little bit of broccoli or something and, and cauliflower and all hell would break loose. And, you know, I've seen a few explanations of this, that it carries the, the starch further down into the gut and activates Klebsiella or whatever, the bacteria that's so associated with autoimmunity. Maybe it's this, maybe it isn't, but it, it used to feel like that. And, you know, I could, uh, I could binge on dark chocolate and nothing would really happen. It wasn't optimal. It didn't make me feel brilliant. But it... Just like meat, but it wasn't the cruciferous which he has some kind of problem with. That's fine. And he's right that you don't need vegetables. He says that in here. You don't if you're eating a high fruitarian diet. You don't need vegetables. But what they're doing is crazy. Now let's skip to this last part here. Oh. It didn't have me oh, yeah. to the sofa like vegetables I did, I think, was um, at the beginning of the keto so he tried keto too, so that messes him up even more. I drank all this distilled water and I was eating like lettuce and crap like that. And, and, and I had this, um, uh, the, the, my, I, I, I lost my sense of taste completely. I lost my sense of taste. And then I, I had to do some investigation and realized I'd stripped all the zinc out. And I had to put a load of zinc back in because, okay, maybe it, it chelates things kind of okay, but then it gets all the good stuff out. Now he's repeating the... Uh... The, the, the water myth. 
that that water what's it called the purified water it does not suck out your minerals that's a myth and I'm running out of space on my camera so I'll have to do the other thing later okay gotta go thumbs up thumbs down share subscribe see you later